What's going on? Move the Mouse here back in City Skylines with another episode of the How To Series. And in this episode, we're talking about the Industries DLC. Now, this DLC is perhaps the most complicated out of all of them, so I'll do my best to give you a quick recap in this How To Series. But if you want a lot more behind the scenes and in depth footage, check out my latest Let's Play Season 6, where we build this city of Wood Garden from the ground up. We started with some basic farming, added in some forestry, set up our ore industry. And even though there isn't any oil on the map, we were able to import oil and upgrade the industry that way. First things first though, we need to define an industry area very similar to the way that we did parks in Park Life DLC. This works very similar to the district tool, but it can overlap multiple districts or no districts at all to define an industry area. Next, the type of main building that you drop in will define what type of industry area it is. And if you're planning on pulling resources from the ground, make sure there are those types of resources in the area where you want to build your industry. To check that out, we can go to the Info Views and Natural Resources tab to see where the best places are. Once you've defined an industry area and dropped in a farm main building, you'll be able to grow crops, fruit, and animal products. These can be stored at factories or grain silos, sent off to processing buildings in the form of the flour mill or the cattle shed, and eventually those goods can be shipped off to factories to produce actual goods to sell off into the market. Forestry industry works the exact same way. You define a main building, drop in resource buildings like tree plantations and sapling fields, drop in sawmills and log yards to process those goods, which again will get shipped off to factories later on in your playthrough. Ore industry can pull ore out of the ground, process it into things like metals and glass to be used later on in factories. The map that I'm building on is called Wood Garden and that's also the town's name. That comes with the industry's DLC, but one thing the map does not have is oil. What you can do in those cases if you don't have a natural resource on map, or maybe want to build an industry area away from where that resource actually is, you can create storage containers or warehouses to import those goods too. You can interact with one of these buildings with the inspector tool on, and if you ask it to fill, it's going to try and keep that filled as best as possible, in this case with oil from off map. So even if you don't have a particular resource, you still can get those goods onto your map, build processing facilities to turn it into things like petroleum and plastics. And again, those can be used by the factories to create goods to sell off to the commercial marketplace. With the inspector tool out, you can interact with the main building and bring up industry area info. Though you can also do that from the industry area inspector tool. And that can be really useful if you don't remember where your main building is. From here, you can get a look at the production chain to see how much you're producing of various products and what those get turned into. To level up industry areas, you need to meet a certain number of workers as well as hit a number of produced resources. As you level up each of the industry areas, you'll unlock various unique factories that will use those components created within the areas. You can interact on factories with the inspector tool to see what it needs for goods from a production standpoint, and what it's actually producing going out. The production rate slider can be adjusted to encourage these factories to produce even more at a higher production value cost, but also providing more benefit to your bank account when those goods are actually sold off and exported off map. Another new addition to the industry's DLC are toll booths, and these can be used to charge cars and trucks money to pass through various interchanges on your highway. Now they do slow traffic down a little bit, so keep that in mind, but if they're placed in the right spot, it shouldn't matter. What I've done here is move it just far enough away from the highway to make sure that there's no backup onto the highway itself from the cars slowing down for the toll. It's a nice way to generate some extra income for your city, and it has a nice aesthetic appeal because you'll generally see these in real life. Industries also brings with it a cargo airport where the regular airport handles passengers. This handles cargo, so you'll have a lot more truck traffic coming to this one. There's also the Cargo Airport Hub, which is an airport for cargo with a train station mixed in. So this can be great for adding to certain industry areas to get goods in and out without having to hit the highway. An interesting mechanic that can contribute to the happiness of your citizens is the post office. So you can drop these in, it'll send out post trucks to deliver mail. The post sorting facility is a larger version where local post offices will deliver mail to then be passed on further along down the chain. It is kind of a neat idea, but anything that adds traffic to your city without a real tangible benefit is something that you really might want to consider before you dive in and start dropping those all over your town. But that's a quick look at industries. Hopefully that gave you an idea how to get started or just 
an understanding of whether or not the industry's DLC is for you. It's by far the most involved DLC though, so we can't really cover everything in a quick video like this. If you have questions, let me know in the comments down below, or better yet, check out the step-by-step -step building of this entire city from the ground up. I started Let's Play Season 6 for the town of Wood Garden on the map of Wood Garden, which is an industry's map, on the day that Industries was released on consoles. So check that series out for much more in-depth information and to see me learn along the way, piecing all these different mechanics together for the first time. If you did enjoy this video, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe and consider hitting the bell to get notifications so you can see updates in this and other series. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. But until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.